Hello, welcome back. So we're going to be talking about Beyond Reanimator. There we go, it's the movie right here. Uh, oh, I, oh, oh. This is some, this is some wild ass movie. Let me reverse this cover. Uh, yeah, it's... So this one was like came out in 2003? No. Three. Yeah. Three? I'm still, I'm to doubt myself. Uh, yeah, 2003. Sorry, I um, just sounded out myself when I was reading that. We are first to the original cover. Um, so the only person who returns, well, uh, anyone in the cast that returns is, is uh, Jeffrey Combs, who, let's be honest, doing a pretty good job. He's still doing a pretty good job. He's honestly a, a winner there. Um, uh, this movie kind of tries to connect like the the new character to like the kind of events of the previous film it's like yes 13 years later which is the last film came out in 19 was it? yeah 1990 sorry I was like so yeah it's pretty much on the heels of that one and he's been in prison since then and is kind of serving his time apparently doing experiments on rats um, so that's a thing. Uh, yeah, because he's try trying to develop this new, because he realized kind of what's missing is the kind of soul, if you will, uh, which he somehow is able to extract. Um, and this new kid basically witnessed uh, one of the creatures from the previous film, essentially. Uh, murdering, murdering one of his uh, close relatives, uh, his sister, I think. Yes, yeah, sister. Um, and now he's in the prison to try and work with Jeffrey Coombs, who's apparently saved one of his syringes for thirteen years. Fucking hell! Has he not like wanted to eject or use that thing in like the last thirteen years? Whew. Like. I don't even have drinks that are like 13 years old. I'm just like, <laughs> you're just like, fucking hell, how did he keep that for so long as a kid? But uh, yeah, apparently he did. Uh, and yeah, so wants to work with him for some reason. Even though he watched his like sister get murdered. So you'd think he'd be more against this kind of guy, but I don't know. Just like, that's, yeah, it's a bit weird, mate. <laughs> you want to basically work with a guy who's kind of responsible for your sister dying it's a bit suspect mate bit suspect uh this movie you can kind of see a little bit of drop in quality just because a lot of the actors are like overdubbed and i swear i recognize some of the voices but i can't find a light for the life of me find like any like credits for anyone who did the dubbing so um, there's a lot of, uh, I think Spanish or Spanish speaking actors. So like, yeah, we don't want the people with like a, a thick, thick accent. I guess that's the theory that they don't. don't yeah, it's all speculation. Uh, he has weirdest, weird ass experiments. Uh, uh, just utter madness. Like it still, it still feels like a really animated movie. But um, yeah, it just feels like it's. And maybe it's just because it's, it maybe it's not as campy. I mean, this movie does have some fucking wild ass shit. <laughs> Let's be honest, there's some wild ass stuff in this. Um, some. Honestly, just wild things going on in this film. No one came over me. Ah, oh, I keep doing these like late at night. I really should not. I should really do this. Well, that's the only time I got to do them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just like some some wild ass experiments. But yeah, not like I said, no one from the previous films comes back. I don't know 
if they couldn't get them back, there's uh, looking at the Wikipedia page. There is literally like no production about it. I should, oh, I should. Sorry, I just realised there's a little envelope in here that um, I should read about this because it goes into detail about the film. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's 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 fucking wild. Like it's. But it just it doesn't seem to have the same campy feel, and I don't know if it's just not coming across because everyone like is kind of missing something from the fact that they went for a, like maybe a cheaper cast because they want to shoot us in Spain, or well, the director wanted to shoot in Spain for some reason. Um, hopefully it's not like a Roman Polanski or anything, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I can't say anything about him or why. I'm gonna guess I've already just. Didn't wanna leave Spain or just. Cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna probably guess cheap. But yeah, I just feel. It's a bit weird. Um, but honestly, yeah, Jeffrey Coombs does save it. Like, without him, I'd be like, this movie's trash. <laughs> just be like, it's trash. Hmm. But yeah, some some mad experiments, experiments with, uh, yeah, kind of the similar ones you'd see in the last one, but now we have this weird soul moving thing, where you can move a soul from someone to another person, and so like the crazy ass warden soul gets moved into, uh, the main, the other main characters like girlfriend. So the warden is now in charge of the girlfriend and has gone a little nuts. And the warden has now got like a rat soul in him. Fucking madness. And one guy just overdoses on fucking Jeffrey Coombs stuff. And, uh, oh, no. Dr. Herbert West, shall I say, his stuff. And, uh, just fucking all this, like, skin is gone. It's like, there's some, they've definitely gone for more physical effects. Uh, which makes sense if you, because they've got the same writer, uh, sorry, same director as the previous, uh, the previous film. So same one who did uh, *Bride of Reanimator* and also was involved in uh, *Reanimate*, the first *Reanimator*. Who's the writer of the first one? Uh, producer, producer. Uh, yes, it's producer here. Producer of the first one still, and then director of the second one. Um, but yeah, like I said. Um, I'm gonna head to bed soon. Um, yeah, it just comes off a little bit. Yeah, obviously, cheap sci-fi film. It just doesn't have the the same touch as the previous two films. The very a kind of eighties camp. Um, it feels like yeah. Dodgy, dodgy sci-fi camp, which is fine. Like it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's a bad film. Uh, I definitely enjoyed this one, but it's not. It's definitely a kind of a slight step down from the first two films. Um, honestly, but definitely watch a, worth a watch for some of the really mad shit. <laughs> and I can't, I can't say enough about it. Like I, yeah, I wouldn't say it's it's, it's kind of good. Um, I don't know if they'll ever do a, a sequel. It, it, it sets up a sequel, but we're literally twenty years away, uh, twenty years from when this film came out. So, uh, which is for way further away than when this film came out from, like, Bride of Reanimator, which is yeah, like I said, thirteen years. And this is twenty years. So, I mean, they have to, uh, they have to do one soon unless they want. Yeah, they don't want. Jeffrey Coombs back, but there is an Italian one. I haven't been able to track down a copy, so if anyone can find me a copy, uh, let me know. And if it has English subtitles, I would definitely give it a watch. I'm definitely curious. To see it. Um, yeah. Um, overall, mm, kind of middling, middling to good over a film. Um, but it just just didn't really lacks a little bit of the the same charm as the first two films overall uh but yeah 
that's the last reanimator film until uh, like I said they get the hell out of the Italian film um, or if they do a, a sequel which I'm gonna guess is no but eh, crazier things have happened uh, but yeah but for now I say to you all live long and prosper and hopefully I'll see you in the next video which is uh, the start of the bloodthirsty trilogy uh, the Vampire Doll? Yeah, that's the one I watched. Vampire Doll, I can't remember the title. But yeah, that's the one, so look forward to that next week. For now, farewell.